guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to code a web page for absolutely free from scratch using nothing but HTML. So, in this video, you're going to basically be typing in a text document and you're going to code a single web page from scratch. And so, to do this, you're going to need uh, nothing but images and you're going to need a single text editor. Now, if you're on a PC, you have a text editor called Notepad, which comes in with it. Just go ahead and open up Notepad for this. But if you want to be a little bit more organized with your code go ahead and download a program called notepad plus plus the link will be in the description and if you're on a Mac you usually use the text editor called text edit which comes on your Mac but uh, for this video I'm going to be using a program called text wrangler which is an advanced text editor that color codes everything out into lines and is perfect for this uh, HTML editing and so this is also free I'll post a link in the description so if you're on a PC you can use uh, notepad plus plus if you're on a Mac use text wrangler I really suggest using either notepad plus plus or text wrangler but if you want to use normal notepad or text edit that's fine too but in this video I'm going to be demonstrating it in text wrangler on the Mac. So the first thing we want to do is we want to have some images that we want to make on our website. So we want to right click on the desktop and create a new folder and we want to name it my sorry I can't type today my web page. And once we have the folder named my web page go into that and create another new folder and name it images. And then once we have our images folder, click and drag in all the images that you want to use for the website in. So as you see here, I have all the uh, images that I want to use on my website right in there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close that out right now. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Text Wrangler and I'm going to go up the file, create a new text document. Now hold on for a second because my text document went into my other monitor. So let me just go ahead and grab that. So yeah, so here's my uh, text document right here. And so what I want to do once I have that is I want to go up to File, and I want to go to Save As, and I'm going to save it to the folder called My Web Page, and we're going to title it index.html. Remember, only name it index.html. So anyway, just go ahead and click on Save on that one, and then if we go into the My Web Page folder and open up index.html, it will open up a blank page in our web browser. Just keep that off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize that for now. I'm going to minimize that folder too, and I'm going to go back here and open up the text editor. Now here in this video, I'm just going to show you the basics of coding a web page inside of HTML. So anyway, the first thing we want to do is start off with a left hand sign and then type in HTML then close it with a greater than sign. Now HTML has a certain set of rules when you type it. So the first thing is when you have to start out something, you start something out with a less than sign, type in what you're starting out with and then the greater than sign. And then what you do is you just type in whatever you want to that fits the code. And then when you need to close out something, you go ahead and type in the less than sign then slash and then html or anything which you which you did but in this case since i'm closing out html i'm closing it out like that and so anyway now that we started out with html we just go ahead and click on enter uh, i really don't suggest typing closing out html until the end closing out html is closing out the web page so anyway here what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a header so i'm going to open up a header Sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up a title and I'm going to make the title just A11021085. And I'm going to go here and close out the title and re-enter. And so then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a tab for our body. So body and then we're going to go ahead and type in B G C O L O R for background color. And then we're going to go ahead and click on equals and click on the number symbol. And now this is basically what it is, is it's going to make the background color for our website. So in any way, if you don't know the HTML code for the background color of the website, I suggest going over to colorpicker.com, which will show you uh, what the background color for the website is. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and choose, I'm going to choose something like a uh, a gray like that so the number for that is 737373 so I'm gonna go ahead and just on copy that and I'm gonna go ahead here and paste that in as the background's color and the next thing we want to do here is type in text and then the equal sign and then the number sign and type in the color that we want for the text color since I want mine as white I'm gonna choose uh, six F's right here 
So let's go ahead and paste in that 6S. And then once we have our text and our background color, we want to go ahead and we want to add a background image. So we type in B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D for background. Uh, sorry if I'm spelling things out loud, it's just because I'm a terrible speller and I can't spell. So then once we have background, we're going to click on equals and we're going to make that quote sign and we're going to type in images for our images folder and then we're going to type in a slash and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to need the name and extension for our image so we're going to go here into the images folder and the background that i want to use is the wood background so i'm going to go ahead and just uh oh, wait i'm just going to go ahead to get info and i'm going to copy it and it's wood background at jpg since it's a jpg image so i'm going to go ahead and copy that and then i'm going to go ahead and paste that in and then we're going to close it out with the quotations and then we're going to go ahead and click on enter. So uh, anyway, after we have our, uh, oh, sorry guys, I forgot that we need to close that out with a ribbon sign. So anyway, uh, once we have our background image like that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some more tags like this for, for the center. Close that out. And then once we have everything centered, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in another image tag. So we're going to type in, uh, oh, sorry guys, we're going to type in this and then we're going to type in IMG, and then once we have IMG typed in, we're going to type in SRC, and then we're going to type in uh, equals, and then we're going to go to images, slash, and then we're going to choose a wood banner. So let me just go ahead and copy woodbanner.jpg. Uh, so then woodbanner.jpg, close it out with a uh, quotation mark and then choose a backslash, uh, sorry, uh, greater than symbol and then click on enter for the next one. And then we want to go ahead and we want, since everything here is still centered, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, add in a, uh, a title for the website. So I'm going to make my title bold. So I'm going to go ahead and type in greater than sign like B and close that out. And I also want to start it as a new paragraph. So I'm going to type in less than sign P and then that. And I'm just going to say, Welcome to my my web page. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it and close out the bold. And I'm going to go ahead and close out the paragraph like that. And so uh, then what we want to do is go up here to File and Save. And then everything is saved like that. And so then I'm going to go here into my folder and I'm going to click on index.html. And as you see, everything is loaded up. I have my background image like that, and I have my uh, banner with the uh, glowing wood, and then I have the thing here that says, welcome to my web page. And so let's just go ahead and keep, keep that on minimize. So.